I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. John Eastman back in the news this week because the January 6th committee filed a motion before Judge David Carter out in the federal court for the Central District of California, Southern Division, asking that Judge Carter uh, declare that a final subset of documents, a few hundred documents, uh, not be privileged for the same reasons he previously found the other documents to not be privileged, the January 6th committee said, and to turn those documents over for use by the January 6th committee as the January 6th committee is completing its investigation and its term is set to expire in January, the January 6th committee moving aggressively for these documents right now. They mentioned in this motion to Judge David Carter that they tried to informally get these records from John Eastman's lawyers without any degree of success so that they had to go to the judge finally as time is essentially running out and they need these documents soon. They didn't specifically go into what Judge David Carter said in his previous rulings, but they didn't have to. They just said, Judge, based on what you previously said in your rulings, for those same reasons, we should get these documents. What's that, uh, what's that implying? What's that referring to? Well, Judge David Carter previously said that even though John Eastman purports to be Donald Trump's lawyer, even assuming arguendo that's accurate, there is a crime fraud exception because Judge David Carter found, federal judge found, more likely than not, that John Eastman and Donald Trump were engaged in a conspiracy on January 6th to overturn a free and fair election. More likely than not, they engaged in criminal conduct before and leading to and after January 6th. And Judge David Carter, very serious, no-nonsense, well-respected federal judge, saying that in these documents... Um, that came out before the January 6th committee hearings and referred to by the January 6th committee hearings saying that Donald Trump engaged in criminal conduct with Judge Eastman, with John Eastman, and that's why these documents will be turned over. So here, what the January 6th committee is saying, these documents should not be privileged for those same reasons. We want them. We want to turn them over. We want to review them for the January 6th committee, and they're vital. I think that ultimately Judge Carter, like he did before, is going to agree to get these documents in the hands of the January 6th committee. I'm sure John Eastman will file an objection and try to stall the process as he's been doing all along, but I don't think he's going to win. And the last order Judge Carter gave was pretty scathing about John Eastman's conduct. Of course, remember, just John Eastman was involved in all aspects of the attempt to overthrow the free, the free and fair elections from trying to persuade or coerce Vice President Pence to uh, not count the electoral votes to the fake elector scheme to John Eastman actually spoke at the January 6th uh, insurrection rally that Trump held uh, to the memos that the, that John Eastman and, and Jeff Clark wanted the Department of Justice to send uh, to states telling them to overturn the results. John Eastman was in literally like, the, they called it the war room on January 6th that was trying to coordinate the insurrection. So John Eastman's heavily involved in all aspects of the insurrection. Um, as I may have mentioned earlier, because he's a law professor um, in or was a law professor in Southern California. That's why this case is being heard before Judge David Carter, uh, who is a judge in the Central District of California, Southern Division. He sits in the Orange County area near where uh, John Eastman was a professor. And the department, the uh, uh, January 6th committee sought to get the records from Chapman and then John Eastman objected, filed this case. The case got assigned to Judge Carter to stop the production of these documents. And then the January 6th committee made their filings. And Judge Carter had previously ruled a few months back that the crime fraud exception applied and that uh, this was the words of Judge Carter, uh, that Eastman and Trump were engaged, recall this, were engaged in a coup in search of a legal theory. So he said that they're more likely than not engaged in a crime and were involved in a coup in search of 
a legal theory. Also, just a background on Judge Carter, uh, decorated Vietnam vet, served our country admirably, and is probably looking at people like Trump and Eastman and these traitors with utter disgust. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hey, hit the subscribe button right now. We are on our way to 1 million subs, thanks to you. Let's grow this movement together. And also, if you want to support the Midas Touch Network, here's how you can do it no matter where you live. Listen up. Go to patreon.com slash Midas Touch. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Midas Touch. There are different membership tiers. We don't have any outside investors, so we're not funded by billionaires or millionaires telling us what to do or say. We're fueled by you and democracy. And so if you want to help out, there's a ton of exclusive benefits at that patreon.com slash Midas Touch website. But most importantly, you could help be a part of this movement in a way where you can help it grow through your involvement at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. In any event, share these videos with friends, family, whoever, post it on social media, put it on Facebook, email it around, let people know about the Midas Mighty. You are a member of the Midas Mighty now, the most powerful fighting force, pro-democracy movement together. We do it with a smile, we do it with love, we do it to support our fellow human being, to be decent human beings, to spread love and not hate, and to fight back, though, with words and logic, voting, um, but ultimately, you know, to really speak from the heart. And that's what I love about this movement, you know, is that this is a movement the foundation is built on love and peace and happiness and trying to build a better world together and to encourage people to be good people. I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent here, but I just feel it's important to mention. And if you want to support it again, go to patreon.com slash Midas Touch. Until next time, I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. This November is Rovember. Midas Touch just released its brand new collection of Rovember t-shirts and pins to let the country know what's at stake this upcoming midterm election. Go to store.midastouch.com to grab yours. That's store.midastouch.com.